Hey guys, looking beautiful. My vanity is really shown through here. I am trying to go through a quick face of makeup because my husband and I are running to Costco and then I have to come back here and I'm expecting a bunch of stuff to come today. So I just like want to throw something on and I just bought some new things from Mop Beauty and I'm going to share that with you. We're going to use a little bit of it because I think the quickest way to put makeup on when you're in a hurry is with your fingers. And we're going to do just that. Now, one of my big rules in the world of like the low bar that I'll set on leaving the house is eyebrows. Like I'm willing to spend more time on my eyebrows than I am on the rest of my face. And right now I'm just kind of, I'm gonna move this forward a little bit without spilling my coffee all over me, which would be par for the course this morning. So I'm going this way because I wanna figure out what part of this I need to raise up. And then I'm gonna bring this down this way. Kind of move this up this way. So I'm getting sort of a a shape together. Now, I haven't waxed my eyebrows in a really long time because I've been trying to grow them out. I actually just had to trim them because my eyebrows are really curly, which I don't know if that's normal, but mine are. So right now I'm just going and trying to trace out just a nice light thin brow color. This is taupe from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I'm gonna do a small amount of filling in here, but nothing big. I don't want the eyebrows to be very overwhelming or any kind of focal point. I just want them to sort of be. And it really just doesn't take a whole lot to do that. These are great pencils and I like the tip. What I then usually do is I will go in with a teeny bit of the Refi. These are just the, the teeny tiniest little nubs and this is a little bit of a darker color, like sort of like what the hair strokes look like. I bring it way back here, so I'm not doing anything dark. I'm pushing the product forward. I do like to have kind of a looser looking brow on the front. And I am just making sure that's nobody in particular. Okay. So this is my fantastic brow to go there. I will put a little bit of brow gel on and I think we can use the Refi today because we're gonna use the Refi new mascara right now. because it's very daytime friendly. I have been totally addicted to the Vast Lash from Victoria Beckham. I cannot stop wearing it. I cannot stop telling people that they need to wear it. I think it is just an incredible mascara. It gives you drama, but it gives you those really dark, fanned out, voluminous lashes. Today we're going for something a little bit different. Okay. Just to get a little bit of skin stuff going, I'm gonna use just some concealer. I have the color corrector here from Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre. I've been testing this out. You guys know I've been really addicted to my Live Tinted. But I figured that because I love the concealer so much, I might as well give the color corrector a try. So <clears throat> this is in the color peach. And then this is in the color C105. I'm gonna give this a second just to like chill out a little bit. And I wanna show you what I've picked out here from Mob Beauty. You know, actually, I think maybe we will use the Mob Beauty just to try it out. 
I have two different colors here of their ceramide foundation. I've got a blush, and then I picked out some of their clay shadows, which are in here. You can see I've been playing around with them. Some thoughts on those. And I also bought their pink powder because you guys know I am crazy in love with the Givenchy. But this one is talc free. So I'm a little bit excited to use it. I'm going to take my Angie Hot and Flashy A506 and I'm going to just dab some of this color corrector on. And you can see that already really took care of a lot of those dark, deep lines. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the concealer, even though I bought two colors in the Ceramide Concealer, just kind of wanting to test to see how these drew together, my C105 and my Peach. And I am keeping it pretty tight. I don't go super low. Try to lighten this up right here. So I sort of have like a line of demarcation that I can sort of go off of before I go ahead and blend that. So we have not belonged to Costco for like a couple of years. I got into this phase where I was like, I don't want to go there anymore. Our son's at college, you know, like, I almost feel like saying how much toilet paper do we need, but after the whole toilet paper, paper towel situation, I don't say that. Every time I go, I'm like, oh yeah, we need some, we need some more Charmin for sure. So we haven't joined in a while. Okay, so this is their Ceramide Foundation. And I bought it in two colors. I went a little bit light over here, which I am still gonna go a little bit underneath here. But we're going to put this on first. What I'm going to do is just kind of show you when it comes off. It's very creamy. And really blends into the skin nicely. I've prepped my skin. We're ready to go. I did not put the merit on since I had like just done my skincare. So here we go. I'm going to start dabbing this on with my fingers and if we need a brush, we need a brush. So I'm going to dab some of this on. We'll do one side first so we can kind of see the difference. This is the color that I chose for the actual um, foundation. This is number 30 light. It's cool. I'm going to take my Sonia G Jumbo Base and I'm just going to spread this around to even out my skin tone. It's going on really nice. It's a good color match for me. This kind of seems like a no fuss situation. I'm not finding any bawling or problems or difficulty with the spread. Looks really nice. What a lightweight, delightful formula. Feels like I'm just putting some, some skincare on. I like that. All right, oops, we're going back into this one. I think this is kind of a good method. And then maybe we'll press it in with our fingers at the end. See where we're at. Been hearing so much about this brand. The formulator started Mac and Smashbox and he's got partners now. This makeup part of it is with Alicia Gallagher and he's also part of the skincare company as well as a actual like take the bottles back let's do something about it planet saving a lot of care and attention to actual sustainability and I think that's really nice I'm liking this it's going on evenly I think it did a good job of knocking out most of my redness. 
tend to get it mostly around here. We'll see how it does around the nose. Just put a little of this on here. Okay, I can see that I need to press this into my face. So I'm going to warm up my cold hands, <laughs> clean hands. And I'm just going to press. I want this to become one with my skin. I'm so cold this morning, my fingers aren't even that warm. We had like degree weather yesterday and then we had these insane thunderstorms again where like the whole house feels like it's gonna come down. Yeah, I think this is really pretty. And as you can see, I could definitely use a little bit more help under my eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter color that I chose, not too light, just a tad for brightening. Feels creamy. It feels like when it warms up, it really does nice job spreading. Oh, that made a huge difference. I'm just going kind of underneath here and on the sides where I'm pretty dark. I'm gonna press this in. And then I'm going to go in with the pink powder and get my under eyes set first. So this powder is talc free. It is so incredibly silky and just, it's like there's nothing there and I'm not a powder person. And I hear this is for people who don't like powder. So I'm gonna use a really very just airy brush. It's from Wayne Goss, the number three. I'm just gonna dab under here. Get this nice and set. So that seemed to do some more color correcting, just making things better and better. I don't want to put this on my whole face yet because we've got cream products that are woo, that are gonna be going on. Okay, I want to prime my lash, my lids. Oh, I want to give it every benefit of the doubt. So, do you guys like my old school look here? Is this attractive? Suitable for YouTube? This is called really getting ready in the morning. <laughs> um, I just like the smoothing that I get from a painterly paint pot. I'm used to it. It's the right color for me. I do have plenty of shades in this formula. You can go and grab one at any Ulta. Okay, so we're gonna go with the eyes. And again, we're gonna do this sort of like paint by numbers thing, except for the crease. The crease, I do want to use a nice kind of stiff-ish brush. This is the blender. I am gonna go in with this lighter color right here, this kind of... M112. I'm just going to start tracing out that, that crease just to bring the eye up and sort of give the illusion that my fold is up higher than it is. I'm just keeping this really natural. This is not a ball, it's Costco. I feel like the level of what I'm willing to leave the house looking like lately has deteriorated substantially. And I think it has a direct correlation with having a kid in school and having to worry about embarrassing your kid when they leave for college. There's no one to embarrass but yourself, so it's great. Okay, so we're gonna mix. We decided the blue and the purple to sort of get this kind of color. I wanna go on with the blue first because I know a lot of people did not pick up the blue from the Rivage palette. 
And there are so many blues this year. This one is more of a cornflower blue, but it is so pretty. And I just want to put it on just kind of coming up a little bit. We're probably going to smooth it out. And I'm going to take a little bit of this purple and I'm going to draw this out a bit. That works I like that. I like to use my left hand when I go on this side because I like to get the same angle. This stuff is so easy to blend. <laughs> it's like ridiculous, but it's also turning into sort of a powder feel, which is unexpected. Sometimes when you feel something that's really creamy and it goes on, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like it's going to go smooshing across your face. This feels very set. Well, that's really pretty. Look how easy that was. They have so many other colors. It was really hard to decide at first where I wanted to go with this. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit into that crease. Make sure everything's looking even. I like that. I like that very much. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this blush that I picked out and it is called M73. I just wanted to pick something that lifted the color of my skin a little bit, kind of gave me a, a natural kind of a flush. I just feel like this is makeup that just lends itself to being like really easy going. This doesn't feel as creamy to touch as the ceramide foundation. You can see like, I can't really make marks in that the way that I did in the other ones. These come in completely recyclable and sustainable containers that look a lot like this, or you can get a single when you have the one eyeshadow. If you bury this in your backyard, it's going back to the dirt. You can buy these refillable palettes. You're only picking the colors that you want, so there's no waste. Just kind of a brilliant system for sustainability. And they do lead the industry, as far as I can see, with that across the board. All right, so we've got a little blush on. One ounce powder, because then we're going to have to see what we need to sort of add. I'm going to use this powder puff. Just kind of get a little bit of it on there. You can get these from Amazon for like super cheap. Go back under here, up in here. And all I'm doing is kind of where I'm worried about some of the breakthrough. Even though I'm not oily, I just tend to start looking, you know, drier. And I like the brightening effect. I think it's a really pretty setting powder. It doesn't look powdery at all. When it fills in the pores, <laughs> that's a plus. Try. Wow. All right. I want to curl my lashes first. I think we created a really pretty eye color here. I don't often wear all matte, and that might even change now, but we'll see. Okay, um, I'm gonna give myself just a little, just kind of like a pearly gloss to the skin. Kind of goes with this ceramide look. It's not too different. I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, I have 
a lot of lipsticks right now. The mom lipsticks come in these recyclable haters. And one is a lip balm, one is a lip matte, and one is a lip balm. Let's see what we got here. So these are recyclable also, they do have a component. This is a black balm. All this does is cool off your lip. This isn't gonna make my lip look like a black lip. Then I have, this is the matte lip that I love in the grayish color, which will probably really drown me out in this situation. And then we have a nude. So we'll go for the nude. Feels good. So this is their lip balm. It's a nice nude. Definitely needs a liner for me. A little bit yellow, but works with the sweater. I do like to add blush to my blush often. And I want to go in. I finally got Mimi from Westman Atelier can only get it from her site and it is just this beautiful, very pale, kind of a beigey pink. And it really does go well with this look. Okay, now I'm gonna go with our new mascara. So, the Refi Mascara is different than anything you've seen or tried. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It comes in what looks like a mascara container. And then this little component has like little teeth on it. And this is a lash sculpt, they say, not a mascara. This is not roller friendly. So I'm gonna go from the bottom and wiggle my way up. This is gonna be a really great no makeup makeup look. I'm just going through this to make sure I'm coating every lash. I did not tight line this because I want to see what it looks like without, since this is supposed to be more of a, like a casual look. And I always dink myself, don't freak out. So it's grabbing onto like those edges, of those lashes really nicely and really taking each lash and coating it and not making it stick to the other lashes. What do you guys think? I think that's a really nice natural looking eye. Let's go on this side. We'll let that try and see if we can put more on. It's very hard to do mascara gymnastics with a new mascara. I have really bad arthritis. It's not great today. We had a huge temperature swing yesterday. From I'm liking this. I'm always really quiet when I put my mascara on. It's like I have to take concentration and... Okay, I can feel this is dry now. And it is giving me that little bit of time to build, but it is getting thicker. So I think you're going to want to work while it's wet. I don't have a choice now, but to put a little more over here. But I would stick with one application while it's wet. Okay, I definitely liked this better on the first coat. So that was a good learning experience. I'm going to try to comb through this a little bit. Get that really sculpted, natural, your lip, your lips, but your, your eyes are better. And then I'm going to use the same thing to scratch off anywhere that I dinked. Okay, so this lip liner, I think, just gave us a little bit of definition. A little bit more of my color range. 
It's a different nude than I normally wear. I wonder if I add a little bit of this grayish color that I like so much. I do like the eyeshadow. Oh yeah. That gives me more of the perfect nude. It just gave it a little bit more of that cool tone. We're going to put on some bronzer, take the hair down, and get out of here. This was just meant to be a quick face of makeup. A powder bronzer because that's the easiest way to go. Let's take Victoria back I'm out for a spin. We haven't had her for a while. Love the fact that she gives us two colors in the same compact because kind of have your summer and winter. I actually like to go into both of these because they're pretty light. But I am 100% dedicated to wearing bronzer these days. After I wore like no bronzer and then I went into like that total bronzer. Now I just, I crave it. The nice thing about this is that it's going on top of that pink powder, so it's like really easy to use. This is the finished look. Aside from my hair, I will be right back to show you what we came up with with my crazy curlers and my it needs to get washed today or tomorrow hair. I will be right back. Okay, I'm just going to put a little finishing powder on. This is the Pink Radiant Glow Blur Powder from Chantecai. Nice in the pink color because I thought that would continue to be pretty with what we had going. And I think this is as good as it gets for Costco. It was a very fast eye. It set really nicely. I love the combined color. I think that this could be one of the best options for a blue. This cornflower blue, I think is $18. I will double check that for you. But in order to become part of the blue team. You got to find one. And I saw Victoria Beckham put out one of her eyewear pencils in this beautiful sky blue. And not to be like, oh my God, go buy it. But like last year when she sold out of stuff from the eyewear collection, it took forever to have it come back. And I can remember getting that lilac -y color and it was kind of late in the season. So if you are interested in her new warm ballet pink or her, there's a shroom color that's shimmery. The pink has a little bit of shimmers and the blue is matte, the cornflower blue. So I think this would be really pretty with a little bit of eyeliner. We'll just put the gray on called getting out of the house fast and having this just be like the real deal. I feel like we can all do these like elaborate looks, but sometimes you just want to get out of the house and not look scary. I actually like the gray, it's softer. See how much that beefs up the lead and makes those lashes look 10 times longer. Go in again with Mimi. Take it a little peachy. We'll add, you know, these can be used anywhere. We can add a little bit of the pink here. I think Costco will let me come in. I will see you guys all later because I'm going to be doing another video today. The Chanel lipsticks are coming. Mwah. See you later. Hi, everybody. I am just getting back on here at 10 o'clock at night. And 
I had this makeup on from Mob Beauty, and I had a whole day of running errands, going to Costco, and I came home, and I laid down, and I fell asleep. So underneath my eyes, we may need to do a little bit of touching up. Oops. <laughs> That's me right now. I'm going to take the lighter color and just pat it here just to kind of get rid of that like slept with my makeup on kind of thing. And I put some lip gloss on just because my lips were super dry and there was nothing left on them. But I didn't expect there to be. These are not long wear items. And I think what I would do is maybe take a little blush, give myself a little flush. These blushes are so pretty. And this powder really stayed. Like this pink powder that doesn't have talc in it and is so finely milled and like delightful that I'm not gonna decide yet, but we may have to do a competition of sorts between this and the You may have to see what the differences are. So I would go like this if I was going somewhere. And don't forget, this is a pink powder, which for my skin tone is just delightful and brightening. Love this. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing powder. It's like, just kind of like a filter. And if I gave myself a little spritz, Way to spray on that one. You know, and I did something with my hair that wasn't like looking like I slept in it. This really lasted well. This eye combination. Let me get you in a little closer. That would be far further away. How pretty is that still? And this is the clay formula. These are all these cream to powders. I just pulled up a bunch of stuff and I'm, I'm ordering more <laughs> because they're so pretty. And they have something called a sparkle bomb, which I'm like really excited to see what that's like with these. But I love these. They are obviously like very long wearing. I mean, I had to just kind of go like this get rid of whatever schmutz I got on my face when I fell asleep. But um, I think it was a for a fast face of makeup to last like this, and I took a nap. I think I'm here to say that I am a huge Mob Beauty fan. I think this foundation is brilliant. I think it's amazing for mature skin. I don't see it settling into any lines, which like I'm wearing foundation and powder from more than a 12 hour day. I don't even know what time I filmed. It was like around nine maybe because I think we were trying to get to Costco at like 10. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the longevity. I'm impressed with the cleanliness of the actual clean makeup, the actual makeup that is doing the job of what we all should be doing, where these things are made of something that isn't just going to go into the garbage can. So to be continued... Fabulous. I love this makeup. I want to do another look with it. And um, yeah, I mean, I just don't have like anything negative to say. Let me take off this lip gloss and we'll just I want to show you. I have not tried this on for you yet. It is Sunday by Merit. And it is this gorgeous pink matte. I am telling you guys, this lipsticks 
are not like any matte lipsticks that you've ever tried. I'm creating a stain. I mean, look at this, no liner. It feels like it's creamy. It's, it's so easy to wear. That is such a nice brightening kind of like, I'm a person that doesn't wear deep lips, lip look, but you're about to see me do a whole lip thing of Chanel. So they're not light. Um, Ma Beauty, I love you. I think this is probably one of the best conceived lines that I can think of. Number one, to put the earth first and our safety first is not usually the first step of somebody trying to make money in the cosmetic space. There is such passion that you see from Vic and Alicia when they're on their Instagram and they're showing you the behind the scenes in the lab. Everything is really interesting choices and collaborating with different people with different tastes to make sure that everybody's needs are met. Um, and I'm not just talking, I'm talking about age, I'm talking about skin color, I'm talking about Every kind of possible, you know, variable that you could think of. I haven't tried their powder formula yet, and I can't afford to yet. So I'm going to do more of these cream clays because I think that they are gorgeous. I can't believe how pretty this still looks after 12 hours of wear. I mean, all I had to do was kind of go like this. And I think that's amazing. And clean up underneath because I slept. Most people don't sleep during the day. I don't think. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to me. I was like wiped out from a Costco experience, which just trying to get a cart through during the week, during the day is a difficult thing to do because I was with my husband. He is not have like the patience of getting behind some of the people with the carts and we all know what I'm talking about so I'm not going to say anymore. Give my beauty a try. They are innovating cosmetics that are going to take us into the next phase of life. I mean pretty soon all of this disposable plastic and microplastics and all of these things that we deal with. And they're already here with a solution. And it's not a solution that makes you have to sacrifice any quality on the makeup. If anything, I mean, this could be like one of my favorite new foundations. I know you can see my freckles. I know you can see some of my sun damage. But when you look at my face, keep doing that. I'm going close here. There is no settling in any of this of makeup and it feels soft. It looks blurred and filtered from that powder. My dark circles don't even look bad. When it just touched up, I just used the lighter color because I like a little brightening. And this um, mascara that I use, Morphe, this Lash Sculpt, really wore well. I'm a total tubing mascara person. I will report back as to how this comes off, but honestly, great natural looking mascara. All right, I'm going to take it all back so you're not so scared. Guys, this is on my highly recommend list. This is going to be on heavy rotation. This is real life makeup for real people who just want to put a pretty look on and have it work and have it not 
make you look scary when you're running around. This is everyday, beautiful, good for you, good for the earth makeup, and I am a fan. I'd love for you to be too. Please give them a try. I think you're going to be really surprised. The choosing foundations, if you need help with that, you can write to them and send a picture and they'll help match you. I just went with what I, I know I'm pink and I know I'm light. So I went with 20 and 30. The 10 was really light, which is great for that person who's even that less color than me. All right, you guys, that's it. That was my quickie makeup look and it lasted. So thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye.